Welcome guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Jish and we're here to carry on with the XJ650 build. In the last video, we fiberglassed up the seat pan, the seat cowl, the hump, whatever you want to call it, and I wasn't happy. A lot of you guys gave me some constructive criticism, which I'm not complaining about. I really appreciate your input into this video, into this build and making this build better, basically. And I've been thinking about it. I'm not happy with that seat hump either. A lot of you were saying it needed to be more saturated with resin, which was very true because I did run out. You also told me how I was using the mat wrong and I was using, using this, I was placing the sheets down too big. So we are going to fix this. We are going to make things better. So rather than brushing off those comments, I want to right those wrongs. We are all here to learn. We are all here to make mistakes. So this is the seat hump in question. Um, That is right, I have made another. This one, looking a little better. A lot more saturation, a lot more resin used, and all round, just a lot better shape and everything. So we are all here to learn. We are here to learn from mistakes. If it's not good enough, do it again. I'm not gonna shy away from the fact that this is a terrible thing I have made, and there is no shame in doing things again because at the end of the day, you want to be happy with what you create and I just wasn't happy with this. Thank you to everyone that does comment and thank you does to everyone that does leave some very helpful information on how to do this. And especially thank you to the subscriber who actually sent me out the mat to redo this. If it wasn't for people like you, this channel we wouldn't, be, we wouldn't be thriving, we wouldn't be progressing, we wouldn't be making better and more improved parts. So again, thank you very much and yeah, let's just carry on. I'm looking forward to seeing what we can do with this one. So, what we have left to do now with this new one, it's quite straightforward. All the preparation now that we put in will show in the end result, so I want to take my time and make this nice. But what we need to do is start finalising these lines, because at the moment it's just kind of cut to shape. This is actually covering the tail light section. We want to get it nice and neat around the back of the hoop just so when we start putting a bit of filler on the top um, we get that really nice crisp shape to the frame which is what we which we want but yeah all this again nice neat lines around the tank this is actually not too bad it just needs refining a little bit just to the the lip of the tank so let's just crack on and start shaping this seat hump So it's probably been about two weeks since actually filming that sequence and you can probably tell by the haircut, by what I'm wearing, by everything and basically just how long it's been since I've posted an XJ650 build video. Why has it taken so long to get to where we are now? Mounting brackets. So as you saw we got all this shaped up quite nicely. There's still some work that needs to be done and I can't really go any further with the shaping of it until we've got it solidly mounted because at the moment 
it's just loose. So I have been racking my brain trying to work out what I want to do and how I want to mount it. I've ordered some parts and they still haven't arrived, hence the delay. I expected them ages ago, but it looks like it's going to be the next video now. So what can I say? I can't really continue with the seat until I've got these brackets. But that doesn't mean we can't continue with the actual underside of it now. The electrics tray, some welding, some fabrication side of it. So rather than just letting it end here because I know the last video we did this exact same thing, we're gonna go and move on, we're gonna progress and get some more done on this bike so we're not just at a standstill. <sighs> so yeah, let's look at making a template for the seat pan. So we have that shaped and cut. I think we are pretty much spot on with this. All we need to do now is get it clamped up, tacked in place, and we're done. For anyone who's asking, this is 1.2 millimeter thick. Just the run of the mill stuff, sheet metal. So plenty thick enough for not really holding any weight or just anything like that really. It's literally just a blank off the underside, so. Yeah, let's get this tacked in place. So guys, that is all we've got time for today, simply because we are two weeks behind. But this means we can push forward with finalising the seat hump, getting the locking mechanism in place. Locking mechanism, yes I said that. We can carry on getting the electrics tray and the underside completed as well. We're all moving in the right direction, things are happening, that's the main thing. So be sure to like the video, smash that like button and I shall see you in the next video. Peace.